Breaking news. Justice Binta Inyako, the judge presiding the IPOP leader Mazin Namdekanu's case, have vowed to expose AGF Malami and federal government if they refuse to comply with the U.S. directives. <laughs> In fact, eh, since yesterday, AGF Malami and uh, Justice Binta, they just they fight themselves on Twitter and all that. Then yeah, they ask questions, what did they happen? <laughs> you know, say sometimes, if God wants to favor you, he can even use your enemies. They can't they fight themselves. I'm just giving an example here. You understand? Record that. A few days ago, an international working group declared the arrest of Mazin Nandekano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, as unlawful and an infringement on his international human rights. The working group on obituary detention under the United Nations Commission on Human Rights disclosed this in a statement published on its website. So, they indicted the Nigerian government and Kenya government. No other Nigerian government to release Mazin Namdekano unconditionally. They not see stop there. They said they should pay him compensation for what they did to him. But the way the old thing can they be, be like say the Nigerian government, they not want to release Mazin Namdekano. In fact, they said they are not going to release him because the case is already in the court. That the court will determine Mazin Namdekano's case. You know, say these people, they don't commit a uh, crime. You understand? They know, say, they have no case against this young man. And if they really judge this matter, eh, then we indict themselves well away. So they are just trying to run away from the case. That is what is happening. But the judge, who is presiding the case, they don't check and say, this thing, this order when these people don't give so, and Nami be the judge presiding this case. If they refuse to do the needful, this thing feasty indicts me later, later, if not for today, maybe for future purposes. He now threatening the federal government that she will resign if they refuse to comply with the directives of the UN. Yesterday, boom, AGF Malami now said, no individual can force the federal government of Nigeria against her wish. He said IPOP leader's case will be, uh, decide, will be decided by the court, not the federal government. That was what AGF Malami said yesterday. Today, uh, Binta Inyankona replied. He said, she said, she threatened to expose, Binta Inyako threatened to expose AGF Malami and the federal government if they refuse to comply with the UN directives. Niger Twist News reports. Okay, Niger Twist News has been giving us all these details about what is going on be between Bita Inyako and the AGF Malami since the international uh, working group declared the arrest of Mazen Namdekano you know, as unlawful. The group comprises scholars and experts who specialize in human rights issues and related laws. Record that Namdekano, the IPOP leader, is facing terrorism charges in Nigeria before this justice, Binta Inyako of the Federal High Court in Abuja. He has been in the court study of the Department of State Services, DSS, since mid-2021. The IPOP leader was detained after he was adopted in Kenya and repatriated in June 2021. He was rearrested over the agitation for Biafra and by extension, Nigerians break up. The statement by the working group said, The working group is mindful that Article 9.2 of the Covenant requires that anyone, listen, Anyone who is arrested is not only informed of the reasons for the arrest, but also promptly informed of any charges against them. 
as explained by the Human Rights Committee in its general comments, number 35. The obligation escapulated in Article 92 has two elements. Information about the reasons for the arrest must be provided immediately upon arrest and there must be prompt information about the charges provided thereafter. Failure to do so violates Article 9 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Article 9 of the Covenant and Principle 10 of the Body of Principles and renders the person's arrest devoid of any legal base. basis. Consequently, Mr. Nandikano's arrest without an arrest warrant and with no explanation as to the reasons for his arrest, violated his right under Article 9 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Article 9 of the Covenant and Principle 2, 4, 10, and 36, two of the body of principles. He said, he said, Bruce Fenn, the American lawyer of the IPOB leader, had petitioned the group over alleged gross violation of his client's right. The UN group in its report also described Kano's repatriation from Kenya in June 2021 as illegal, unlawful, or constitutional extradition. Hmm. So, Binta Inyako understand all this. Since she is the justice presiding the case and at the look of things the nigerian government does not want to act, uh, comply the northern itself they don't they tell them uh, northern coalitions uh, said two days ago that nigerian government should not release mars in nam the kano that the un have no right to ask nigerian government to release mars in nam the kano and all that so agf malami now now won't come teach these people Waiting lobby now, I not understand. AGF Malami, when we say he don't succeed in turning Nigerian constitution upside down, now he won't come teach the UN how law you know uh, operates and all that. Anyway, let's keep on you know watching this drama and how it ends. More details from this will still come to your way soon. Thank you very much for this coming out here. God bless you. Bye for now.